good morning today we are having two topics to discuss one is a uh, scanning electron microscope this is the technique uh, which is used for uh, material characterization and uh, high energy electrons are used to generate a variety of signals on this from the solid surface and here uh, this scanning electron microscope is used to analyze surface morphology chemical composition and crystalline nature of the some solid materials and this is the working principle here electronic source is placed at the top of the column this electronic source is used to generate high energy beam of electrons and these electrons are attracted and accelerated by positive charged anode and here we are using optical lenses or which is made up of glasses these electrons are unreactive towards glasses that's why we are using optical lenses here these optical lenses are used to control this uh, pathway of electrons these optical lenses consist of condenser lens coil lens scan coil and objective lens condenser lenses are used to control the size of the beam and scan coils generate the electric electromagnetic field that means magnetic field which is more sensitive to the electrons and objective lens focuses these electronic beams on the sample after that uh, uh, focusing these electronic beams are striking the sample after striking two different kind of electrons are scattered one is the back scatter electron another one is the secondary electron these back scatter electrons are originated from the depth of the sample and the secondary electrons are originated from the surface of the sample these back scattered as well as secondary electrons are detected by the respective detectors here that uh, here that uh, detectors for back scatter electrons are kept above the sample and uh, detectors for secondary electrons are kept at sideways of the elect path of the electronic beam so these respective detectors collect the respective electrons and these Uh, electrons gives the perfect image of the surface of the material in a computer monitor okay this is the working principle so next one is the uh, applications in case of material science uh, this scanning electron microscope technique is used for quality control and failure analysis and it is used to characterize the gas sensing behavior of uh, nanowires and it is used to uh, find out the composition of the semiconductors and in case of forensic investigation this technique can be used to analyze the gunshot residue and examination of jewelry and it is used to find the bullet marking and handwriting printing analysis and in case of geology this technique is used to find out the chemical composition as well as structure of the solid micro solid, solid materials next one we are going to discuss about principles of transmission electron microscope in this transmission electron microscope electronic gun is placed at the top of the column this electronic gun releases electrons that condenser condenser lenses are used to focus that uh, incoming uh, beam towards the surface of the sample and one portion of that incoming uh, transmitter electronic beam is now is now transmitted through the sample so the transmitter transmission depends upon the size of the thickness of the specimen so transmitted electrons are now uh, are now focused by the subjective lens and the objective aperture is used to filter the highly diffracted electrons and it enhances the contrast of that uh, transmitted electronic beam and it, it gives the image that image is now going down to the to the phosphorus screen so it generates that uh, lights on the phosphorus screen so that uh, dark area of that uh, phosphorus screen corresponds to less number of transmitted electrons and light area light, and light lighter area of that uh, phosphorus screen corresponds to highly transmitted electrons this is the working functional next uh, next one is the term applications so this term applications are used for analysis of morphology and composition crystalline information of particular samples and uh, it allows researchers to view the samples on molecular level and it is used for further studies of crystals and metals in industries and uh, this term is used for semiconductor analysis especially in the manufacture of computer and silicon chips and this uh, term is used to identify flaws fractures and damages in micro sized objects so this is the, the important uh, principles and applications of stem and tem